together the happier we'll be. Hey folks, thanks for tuning in and subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate all the encouragement and fun that we're having together as we learn new skills. So in knitting, there are three basic skills to make something. Uh, casting on, which we covered in our casting on video, and then knitting itself. And then we have casting off, which this video covers. And with those three skills, you can make a lot of things. So here are some examples. This is the finished tie that we cast off in the video today. I was using some, <clears throat> excuse me, some yarn scraps. I didn't have a ton of this yarn or this yarn, but I went ahead and finished them up. And this one could be big enough for a child to wear as a tie around their waist. Oh, even an adult, it's got some stretch to it. So these are really fun for dress up and it's a great skill for little hands to learn to roll these up. Believe it or not, that's actually a lot of fun for them. And you can put them like in a basket together like that to have some options. This one turned out to be kind of short. It could be a headband. Again, if it was a little longer, it could be a tie. This one is cotton and you can get um, rolls of this cotton yarn for maybe 250 or so. And there are a lot of different colors that they make. Uh, this one I made was with the same yarn and then a yarn that had some different colors in it. So with the same, just knitting every row and making a you know rectangle, you can get a dishcloth, it could be a pot holder at this size it could be a coaster um, you or your child could make a little set of coasters that's pretty fun here's another example of just my scrap and using up other yarn this is like a you know rainbow yarn cotton that i mixed with this one and was just simply using up scraps but we also got some new yarn for a project that we're going to be making in the next video which is a cat and basically you're gonna just knit a square and a rectangle. This is gonna become the cat's head. So that's all that takes. And I've left some long, fairly long tails on them because we're gonna be sewing them up into something. Whereas something like this or a dishcloth, you don't need a really, a very long tail um, because you're not sewing it together. You're just gonna finish the end. And so in this video, we're gonna cover casting off, basically getting the project off of the needles. So you'll um, also need a pair of scissors and a needle um, that has an eye big enough that you can fit the thread in. Ah, oh, parting is such sweet sorrow. Off we go, time to pull the lines and cast off onto our next adventure. What, are we on a ship here? What's going on? Is it, we're knit, knitting? Oh, casting off knitting, right, right, right. Oh yeah, that's at the end of the project. Au revoir. Okay, I'm with you. Oh boy, time to get to work here. Alrighty, this looks like knitting to me. Oh, is she pulling a quick one on us here? Now she's knitting. Oh, yep, she's going in through the front door, out the back, and the sheep and all that. Whoa, there's a fast one. What was that? Okay, she's going to show us again. We do another knit stitch. What? The first one is jumping over the second one? You got to be kidding me. Hey there, guy. It's going to be all right, isn't it? Jump off. Be not afraid. Explore new places. Here we go. Up and over. This is always that little magic bit. I don't know how it happens, but you just got to get your hands involved. And you're like, oh, there's that loop that they're showing us. Over we go. And wait, there's one left. One more sheep. Well, that's a tiny tail on that piece of knitting. But just enough to put the tail through the end and pull it tight. And look at that. It is nearly ready to go, my friends. Beautiful. 
Oh, look, she's got another project. Wow, this gal's been busy. Unroll, unroll, unroll away, cast away, unroll, unroll, oh, cast away. Oh, here she goes again. Is she knitting? Oh, whoa, that tail is tiny. I'm just saying from, you know, experience. Think about your tail length in the future. Whoa, okay. This gal is cruising through. She knits. She pulls the first stitch over the second and around and off. You're going to want to practice this number before you're at the end of your project or make sure it's a short project so that you can get this skill down. But I believe in you. You could knit a whole dishcloth or a whole tie just like that. And, you know, maybe practice on another just scrap set. Just get the skill down, people. Because what if you lose a loop and then you lose your entire project and you're like, oh no, because have you ever had, you know, like the cartoon where there's a dog and it pulls like the sweater string and the whole sweater comes unraveled? I can't remember what book that was, but that can happen. One strand is what these things are made out of. And you lose one of the knots and you lose the whole thing. So catch those holes in your sweaters early, folks. Just catch all the little ends. That's a tiny little tail. Hey, where are you going? Well, I guess he's going off to the sewing place. Get the tail side. Oh, what is this thing? That kind of looks like that logo in the beginning. That's cool. Those scissors don't look very sharp. Well, you know, do what you can do, right? What is this? Squares? Coasters? With tails? Is that a purse? Are we going to make a purse out of that? I don't know. You make what you want, people. This is about casting off, okay? Just casting off each little project. But if you cast off a sweater, honey, down the road, oh my goodness, 160, 200 stitches casting off. Can you imagine the freedom and the liberation that you experience? She knits too. She comes back, grabs that first one, pulls it over the right like a leapfrog, and then sneaks out the back door. Okay, we're knitting along. Hey, uh, sorry I got busy here. I'm knitting and casting off. I'll see you guys soon. Hold up. First over the second, leapfrogs around the needle, and then that other one just disappears into thin air. How does this happen? I mean, if you want to do true magic, my friends, there is magic almost every step of the way. From the sun to the rain, to the sheeps, to the pain of learning something new. But indeed, I believe in you. And now it's time to say goodbye. No, no, dear friend, please don't cry. Oy. What do you do with a dull pair of scissors? What do you do with a dull... Oh, she got it. Okay. Hmm, I like that color. Is that amber? Amber waves of grain. What is that little thing? Hmm, what could I do with something like that? Oh, it's the cat head. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. I don't know, see how that's going to become a cat. Um... But more power to you, folks. Well, it looks like she's finishing up, kind of cleaning up the table. But what about those scissors? Oh, boy. That looks really sharp. Is this, this is a dangerous video. Okay, she... What is going on? Okay, she's just sewing into the side of this tie, we'll call it. Belt. Huh? Okay. Now going the other way. Folks, I'm going to tell you from a third-party perspective here. If your tail's too short, it's, it's really hard to knit it in, but there are some ways to do it. If you have a long tail, no big deal, but as you're knitting along, a long tail can really get in your way, so you don't want that big of a tail. Experiment with tails. Ooh, that might look nice. On my fuchsia gown. We shall see. We shall see. Whoa, that's a small tail. If you run into that, get the needle in first, folks, before threading the needle. And children, if you're playing here, uh, make sure your needle is... Make sure you're careful with your needle. Those things can get sharp. 
But friends, they also make those plastic needles. They work great. They won't poke you. They can still go through yarn. This is just what I happen to have. Now back to the watchers. Wow, look at that. That's how you finish it? Hmm. Trimming with the scissors that don't trim. Folks, like and subscribe. We'd love to get a pair of new scissors for the show. The more we knit together together. We're just enjoy. Together, it go? The more we knit together, the happier we'll be. Very nice. Oh, je t'aime beaucoup. Je t'aime aussi. Pussy Baba, see you later. Weave, weave, weave us together. Weave us together in unity and love.